Ninetales is the perfect addition to any Sun team. Uh, with its hidden ability Drought, we're going to be using that to our advantage. Um, this Pokemon goes really well with the Venusaur video I did last. Um, if you guys are wanting to run a weather team and you don't know where to start, um, start with this video and then go back to Venusaur. Uh, and always, if you like the video, please like it, leave a comment, it helps the video uh, trend to more people, and also subscribe to the channel if you like Pokemon-related uh, builds and news. Alright, no more self-promotion, let's get to the build. Alright, here's the build. Um, so we go special attack up, attack down. Um, Ninetales is purely a special attack Pokemon, so you don't... Lose any stats going attack down. Um, for the item, I go Heat Rock. Um, there's probably a better item to use. Um, if I'm going with a weather team though, I want to ensure that I have my weather effects for as long as possible. Uh, and Heat Rock does work on Drought. Um, it previously did not, but I think around Gen... Ooh, I want to say seven uh, when they kind of changed weather conditions uh, to where if you had drought it just wouldn't stay sunny day um, forever. It now lasts five turns um, but with heat rock you extend it to eight. Um, I think if you're going all in on a weather build um, you should extend sunny day as far as possible. Uh, also we're not using sunny day move on nine tails at all. Uh, so we would have to swap in, swap out if we wanted to refresh the effect. Uh, and like I said, we're going with the hidden ability Drought. Um, you can get that from uh, Raid Battles. I personally brought this one over um, from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon just because I had it handy. Um, so with the EVs, uh, I went full special attack HP. Um, I think Ninetales needs to last longer rather than worrying about speed. Um, as, an, any, as you can see, the speed stat on Ninetales is pretty good. Um, 121 base at level 50. Uh, I think you get a lot more um, bulk out of HP, and if you can stay around longer, you can do more damage. Uh, and I go for a pretty basic move set here. Um, so first turn I'm going to use Nasty Plot, set up Drought, use Nasty Plot. Um, then, you know, if I feel like there's a lot of pressure on Ninetales, I'll move over to Protect next turn. Um, Heat Wave is a pretty good move in doubles, um, so this move will hit both um, the doubles partners and it's boosted by Nasty Plot and Sunny Day, uh, and it does not hit your partner Pokemon, uh, only opposing foes, which is pretty cool. Um, Solar Beam, I honestly, depending on what I'm seeing, I might swap that out to something different. Um, Solar Beam is just nice because you already have Sunny Day set up. Uh, it's a 120 move, and it's just, it's just a good way to kind of change things up. Uh, it also counters water types, which you're weak to. Um, I would be willing to swap it out for something else, especially if you're running Venusaur right next to Ninetales. Um, but by default, it's a good move, uh, and I wouldn't swap it out unless you're seeing something that you need to deal with that you specifically want to counter with Ninetales. Uh, as far as other companion Pokemon that do well with Ninetales, um, I would definitely say that Inability Charizard is really good. Um, another one that's kind of a surprise and would be a little hard to do is uh, Shif Shiftry. Um, so Shiftry has Chlorophyll, and also if you transfer it from an old game, it would have Stab, Knockoff, um, Sucker Punch, and we could put Solar Blade on it, so it'd have a 125 attack, um, one turn Solar Blade, and have Knock Off and Sucker Punch, um, which honestly is really good. It, it's definitely not one of my favorite Pokemon, um, but I think with the home update, 
Uh, you might end up seeing him a little bit more often, especially because Chlorophyll is one of his base abilities. And honestly, it might be better than um, Venusaur. Kind of just depending on, you know, if you want a special attacker or normal attacker. Uh, I'm probably going to try to get a shift tree going. I really hope I'm saying his name right. Um, I might try to get one going and just kind of play around with it um, whenever I make the weather team. Having a limit of the Pokemon that we can have is um, a little bit hard to fit into weather team, but I think we have four four good ones, being Ninetales, Charizard, Venusaur, and Shiftry. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones I'm forgetting. If so, I would love to get some recommendations from you guys in the comments. Um, if you give me a recommendation that I use in a future video, I will definitely give you credit for it. Okay, well, that's about as much oop, as I'm going to extend the video, so thank you guys for hanging around, thank you for checking out the build, and see you next time. Bye.